Tiger King is a new Netflix series that... Okay, is there anybody here who hasn't heard about it at this point? Anyway, the Smash Hit documentary series comes to us from the directors Rebecca Chaiklin and Eric Good. It tells the story of the rivalry between exotic cat zoo owner Joe Exotic and animal rights activist Carol Baskin, which ends with Joe's arrest for attempting to hire somebody to kill her. If there is a winner in the coronavirus pandemic, it is this show. It was probably expected to be a modest hit amongst fans of true crime documentaries, but most likely due to the timing of its release and everyone being stuck at home, it has exploded across the nation. And it's not too hard to see why. It is an interesting story that thrives on sensationalism. It is a wild story that sounds like something that would be in a Coen Brothers film. You may laugh even if you don't feel proud of it afterwards. None of the characters are portrayed as purely good. In fact, there are basically no good people at the center of the story. Even the animal rights activist is shamelessly doing the exact same thing she preaches against. And not to mention the accusations that she might have killed her husband. It's a dark story that still somehow maintains a dry sense of humor simply by its bizarre nature. Last Easter, the show arose from the dead to give one final episode. This one was not as impressive. While I wouldn't say that it's bad like many other people are, it's definitely a weird way to follow it up. It's basically a talk show style event starring community's Joel McHale where he interviews side characters via webcam. Not in like an investigative journalism type of way, more your average talk show. We learn a few more things about what happened, but other than that, basically nothing much of substance. It feels a lot like one of those Chris Hardwick shows like Talking Dead that would come on after popular AMC shows. It'd be light and often humorous conversations about what happened in that episode, which is fine for something like Walking Dead, but feels kind of jarring for a non-fiction show where bad things actually did happen. All in all, it just feels like a cheap way to cash in on the success of the show. But despite that, everything before is entertaining, intriguing, and outrageous true crime television. 